This is the micro homily for the 18th of September. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Today's first reading follows on directly after yesterday's. And Paul is doubling down. He's insisting that the heart of the gospel is the death and resurrection of Christ. That's what he and all the other apostles are preaching. And without that, it's all nothing. It's the death and resurrection of Christ that gives hope to the Christian and hope not only for this world. The Gospel follows on from yesterday's. Yesterday's, you remember, the woman who poured ointment on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. Shocking to some of those at table. She was a woman with a notorious reputation and Jesus told her her sins are forgiven. Again, shocking. Now Luke doubles down. It's as if he's saying, you think that bit was shocking, or oh, you'll you like this bit. That Jesus and the apostles went on a missionary journey. Nothing unremarkable in that. It's what a teacher and his disciples might do. But what Luke won't hush up is that that missionary band included women who provided for them. They were the breadwinners. Now that, that this was a missionary party with women who were doing the providing, would have been shocking to those first to hear it, first to read it. Luke doesn't care. If it shocks them, if it puts them off, so be it. He knows he must record it. Luke has a high place in his gospel for the role of women because he's understood something. That in the choices Jesus makes, including in choosing women to be the first witnesses of the resurrection, the first to discover the empty tomb, Jesus and the gospel that Luke is preaching is bringing something new to this world. 